safer. Now before I get started on anything else, lots of you have asked can we have a look at some of the pictures on the calendar? Yes you can. Now they're offered with free worldwide shipping from your local country. Let me start off January, February and basically it's a little look back on some of the features of the last year. April some of the wildlife some of the trips that I've had abroad and October double-sided and then we have a picture of the kittens obviously a little tribute to our lovely dearly missed little Bobby Now the proceeds of the calendar will help go towards funding the channel and improving it. So thank you everyone that's already purchased them and those that haven't, you know, if you want to buy one, head on over to welcometoshawnsworld.com. Now before a recent storm, I had a tarpaulin covering the top of the chimney stack. Now that blew away. I haven't been able to go up there since. We've had lots of rain and Sam doesn't want me to go up there, which is understandable. But I will be going up there, but what I said to her, I'm going to get myself a safety harness and, you know, be as safe as I can up there. But until then, we're getting lots of rain down the chimney. Um, it was all quite damp and wet in here. But what I've got is a little fire, a temporary fire that I can put in place there, keep me warm as well, and uh, start drying out the stones a little bit until I can actually get the main fire that's going to stay in here sorted. There's a process of things that I have to do before I can just put that in. So I'm going to go and get me temporary fire. I've used it on other jobs before and it really does, you know, dry things out. So let's take a look where the fire actually is. It's over there somewhere. Welcome to my wood store. Now this was formerly a pigsty. <laughs> and looking around at the moment, it does still look like a bit like that, but Never mind, here's the fire. It's this one here. It looks a little bit rusty, but that'll be all right. That will clean off. It's a little stove, you load it in the barn. We've got a flue out there. So let's get that over there and let's light it up. Keep me kettle on it. Yep. I may need to uh, purchase a few parts for it. I think the actual body of it is fine. Go, let's get this over. Not too heavy. Now that has seen better days. I'll go and purchase one of those, but we'll set it up, see whether it draws up the chimney. Don't want to get smoked out. warm already. <laughs> now what I'm doing now is wiring up the flue so it's nice and secure. If I think it's not safe I'm not going to use it but I'm sure it'll be okay. I mean after all you can have an open fire here so yeah at least this way we're containing it. But as long as that flue is nice and secure uh, yeah we'll have a little test fire in it. 
I've done these two, I've just got one more to do here. And don't try this at home. I'm only going to run it when I'm actually in here, short periods. We are now ready for blast off. Okay, we're going to get some kindling, little bits of wood, and just test to make sure it goes up there nice and safely. Now there's no wind outside today, so there's not much of a draw, which is where the wind comes across the top of the chimney stack and pulls anything out, so this will help. And once it gets up to here, it tapers anyway, and that's what causes the updraft. Right, kindling matches. Let's give this a whirl. a bit of smoke out the top here just until the heat rises and goes up the flue so just uh, give it a moment or two now it's very well ventilated in here so I've got no real issues there we're getting a little bit of smoke out here are we getting anything at the top of the flue nothing just yet but we will oh there's a spider <laughs> Them getting cooked a little bit more. Putting some beach on there, nice and dry. So, if this is a success, which I'm sure it will be, I shall come in here every morning, light this up, get me kettle on there. What a way to start the day. Any smoke yet? Not yet. Right, let's shut the door, see if that helps. Well, there's not much smoke, but I can assure you there's something coming out of there. Yep. Hot air. Oh, we are getting smoke up there. It's drawing that, lovely, considering there's no wind up there. Brilliant. Let's have a look outside. Yeah, I can see it by eye. There is a faint flicker of smoke. Can't see it on the camera, I don't think. That's not such a bad thing. You don't want it smoking anyway. Sign of an inefficient fire. Let's stoke her up. Now that should keep the worst of the chill off. Until I'll get that fire installed. inspecting the inside of the chimney and as you can see there is there is some uh, damage there where it's washed away a little bit so I think my decision to put some supporting posts each side is a really good idea because there's a lot of weight there and you know don't quite know the extent of that so I think it'd be a good idea to definitely get some supporting columns each side obviously the acro is coming out in the middle that's holding a lot of the weight at the moment so yeah just for peace of mind I'm definitely going to go ahead with that idea and plan to dig out quite a deep area there put a pad stone in so it bears the weight one each side I'll just pick up all this supporting mantle there. You can see the same that side. You know, there's quite a lot of weight 
on that area there. And there's significant cracks. So, yeah, that's maybe of a bit more concern than I originally thought. So yeah, definitely going ahead with that idea, the supporting columns. So I'm just going to let the fire go out and then we'll go inside and we'll check on those kittens. Hello Jess, this one's Jess, that one's Pixie, as you can see they're all growing rather a lot. And this one's, what we call him Danny, but that might not stay. See if they're in a playful mood. Fifi's just having a break at the moment. They are rather boisterous, <laughs> as you can see. You're inquisitive, aren't you? fun like this, you have to wear them out. So much energy. I wouldn't like to be a mouse in this house. We're going for their second lot of injections in a few days time. They've booked Fifi in, the mummy cat, or being neutered. And uh, when these are ready, be neutered as well. Just too young at the moment. It's all tangled up. Oh. I'm getting you untangled. their cat nap and I can get back to work. Right let's check in on Fifi. Yeah you can hear them crying for you can't you? Do you want to go in now? Come on in. More like the other way around. Come on in. Fifi's decided to hide in the bag. I might join you. Terrors are released. Endless hours of fun with a bag. Aren't they the most beautiful things? They're getting big now, but they're still little rascals. Okay, right. Been thinking about this fireplace, um, the stonework, and the damage inside. I think my attentions are now going to turn to getting these posts put in. Now, I've had a look round, I don't think I've actually got anything suitable for what I need. So I'm going to have a trip out to the wood yard, I'm having a measure up, I'm going to have a little dig down to see what the, the ground is like here, and uh, get some measurements, yeah, and get these posts in. Don't want it falling down now. And we've got some snow forecast, I believe, so yeah, I timed it well with this fire. So let's have a little dig in this area. Now what I plan to do is sort of dig it, dig it down probably uh, 9 to 12 inches so I can get a good base for my post. Um, let's see how hard this rammed earth floor is. Whether or not I need my new Kango. That's pretty hard. That's not too bad. Nice big square pad. Amazing how hard this floor is. God. Yeah, maybe I do need a new kangaroo. 
just get the shape. Okay. Well, the top part of it isn't too bad. Come up with a pickaxe, but once you go down a little bit, it's absolutely solid. I suppose hundreds of years of compaction. That is clay after all. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to have me work out when it comes to levelling this floor up. Been thinking about that as well. Probably going to do it in different levels. I can't undermine the foundation too much. So, yeah, I've been thinking about that and I've come up with a plan with that. It looks like I'm going to need my new Kango. Ooh, yeah, this floor is rather hard. So none of this is going to the landfill. We could use it out the back of the property to make some levels up, so that's good. This does stink of creosote because I washed the fire down, so. Mm. Now I am going to put a a damp proof membrane right away across the floor. Um, I'm going to dig these a bit deeper and line them out with plastic so when I come to level around it, you know, I can finish it off nicely. These floors were designed to breathe, you know, if they got moisture in them, they just dried out. So, modern day times, you know, we seal things up, we still have to have ventilation. measurement add a few extra inches two of those from the wood yard and I think I'll sleep better at night knowing that ain't gonna come down so just already in this little square here only gone down sort of three inches it's already produced one bucket full so you multiply that up how many times you know you you're gonna dig it really does mount up but when it comes to doing the floor, I'm not going to tackle this on my own. I'm going to call in some reinforcements and uh, yeah, we'll soon have this sorted. So this is the junction that I wish to support. It's where the two meet. So I think if I go 150, which is six inch, I'll get a nice six inch solid oak post. And anything really. Uh, two meters plus so we get two of those so with any luck you'll have some old aged oak that will match in rather well if not I can make it look a little bit older I have my ways of doing these things okay right let's measure this side because I know the floor is really out and I'll get going down the woodyard see what he's got I'll see you all when I get back from the woodyard fingers crossed I've just returned back from the wood yard, so let's take a closer look to see what I've got. So while I was down the wood yard, I thought I'd get some wood to burn, so I did get a load of this, but now underneath all this are two very good posts. Solid oak, six by six, which is 150 by 150, which is perfect for the job. So I'll get all this unloaded into the wood store and we'll take a closer look at those posts I bought. I won't lie, I've had better firewood, but you know, sometimes you just got to grab it while you can. No cold weather coming. I've got a little reserve, but I just wanted to top it up. It's all good wood, you know, it's perfectly seasoned, but yeah, it's a little bit random to say the least. Which makes it a challenge when you're stacking. Yet. <laughs> Just slide it. Wait till I get the way out. Put it on top of the other beam. 
just push it forward. Push. So I've got some tidying up to do. I'm glad I've got my posts. Have you got your calendar? Don't forget, it really does help support the channel and it buys a few tins of cat food as well. <laughs> right, I'm done for the day. I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye for now.